the two strongest teams in Europe at the moment are looking for their fourth European Championship title in their history will meet at the Arena Stuttgart on Friday night, when Spain faces Euro 2024 host Germany in the first quarter final. The winner of this match will face France or Bologna in the Zmai final. After winning all three group stage matches at the Euros for the first time since 2008, Spain remains the only team at Euro 2024 with a perfect record of four wins. After coming from behind to be 8 Georgia 4-1. In the round of 16 last Sunday La Roja unexpectedly took the lead in the 18th minute after central defender Robin Lenordman accidentally put the ball into his own net. This was also the first goal that La Roja conceded at Euro 2024. However, Rodri equalized just before halftime. For Spain resolved the phenomenon of the tournament. Georgia in the second half. Fabian Ruiz, Nico William and Daniel Moe scored in turn to complete the spectacular comeback. Excluding penalty shootouts, this was Spain's 10th consecutive unbeaten match at the Eurofinals. The delegation of coach Ruiz de la Fuente made a strong impression on fans with a flamboyant and eye-catching attacking style of play. Combination of youth and experience of the names in the squad helped Spain to be highly appreciated and capable of becoming the highest enemy at the moment. Even German defender Joshua Kimmich admitted that Spain are every strong team. They play with the upper hand against every opponent. The feeling that Spain always wants to crush the opponent. Their team creates a strong impression that is hard to describe in words. The upcoming quarterfinal will be extremely difficult. In history, Spain and Germany have met a total of 26 times. The achievements of the two teams are very balanced. When Germany has 9 wins, Spain is 8, and the two teams drew 8 matches. But in the last 10 encounters, the advantage is tilted towards La Roja. With 4 wins, 4 draws and only 2 losses. Admirers of the Spanish team will surely remember the Euro 2008 final, where the Matadors won 1-0 with Fernando Torres' only goal. Or maybe the 6-0 thrashing in the UEFA Nations League in November 2020. That was the day. Fernando Torres destroyed Dimitrov with a hat trick. However, there is a disadvantageous statistic for the Spanish team that they have never won before the home team in the knockout stages of major tournaments like the Euro or the World Cup. Specifically, La Roja have faced nine home teams in the knockout stages, but they lost all nine of those matches. First, at the 1934 World Cup, Spain lost to Italy 1-0 in the quarterfinals, and most recently at the 2018 World Cup, the Matadors lost 3-4. In the previous round, the Russian team reached the round of 16. These statistics made Spanish fans worried before facing Germany. Diamond Traff are also determined to win the Euro right on home soil since 1996. In the round of 18, the tanks showed their strength by defeating Denmark with a score of 2-0. It was a dramatic match that was interrupted by a thunderstorm in the first half, including a series of heavy blows in the sky and VAR controversies. But in the end, Germany still won with two goals scored in the second half by Karl Harvard and Jermol Mugiala, in which Mugiala's goal helped him lead the Euro 2004 top scorer list with three other players. After a crazy match at Signal Aduna Park, coach Julian Agorsman announced to the media that his players are in the best shape and can beat any team. The match against Spain will be the 19th time Germany have played in this round in two major tournaments, including 14 at the World Cup and 5 at the Euro, the most of any European nation. Germany are leading the tournament in most of the statistics, such as leading in goals with 10 goals, taking the most shots with 71 the highest average ball possession rate of 62% and ranked second with two goals conceded. The enthusiastic cheers of the home crowd. Diamant Schrapp have become a formidable force at this year's Euro. Before the tournament started, Germany were only ranked 16th in the FIFA rankings after recent difficulties in the pre nagorsman era. Germany's last victory over Spain was in a friendly match in November 2014 when Toni Kroos scored the decisive goal in the 89th minute. However, Germany have reason to be optimistic in this match, because they have never lost to La Roja whenever they play at home, including five wins and three draws. Another statistic in favor of Germany is that in the history of the Euro finals, no host nation has ever lost in the quarterfinal. In terms of personnel, both have almost the strongest force. Spain have Nacho Fernandez back, 
Former Rembrandt defender suffered a minor injury in the last two matches of the team. Meanwhile, Germany also welcomed the good news when Jonathan Therrand after the Bayer Leverkusen centre-back missed the match against Denmark, due to suspension coach Luis de la Fuente's favourite formation is 4-3-3, so he will continue to use it against Germany. Standing in the wooden frame is goalkeeper Unai Simon, the Atlantic pinball keeper, is shaving an excellent Euro with three clean sheets in four matches. The only goal the 27-year-old goalkeeper conceded was a noun goal by Robin Lenachman. The pair of central defenders is the combination of Emergel Porte and Robin Lenachman. Although Nacho is back, Heiss unlikely to compete for a position with Laporte, except for the own goal in the match against Kruziazasa Lenach, Manish having a good tournament. There's no reason for De La Fuente to remove him from the starting lineup. Full backs will still be Marco Correa and Danny Cavahan. Correa is having a great Euro as she always plays well in every match. The ability to attack and defend smoothly helps Chelsea's defender become one of the most impressive rookies of the tournament. Besides, Correa, Euro 2024, is also only the first Euro final round that Cavahan is on the field. And what has been shown so far proved why he deserved a starting spot on the right wing of the Spanish team. The defensive trio is none other than Pedri. Rodri and Fabian Ruiz this can be considered the strongest midfield in Europe at the moment. Their performances so far has been extremely excellent, not only playing the role of midfield control, all three also participate in supporting the attack very well, in which Rodri and Ruiz both scored for the team. The attacking trio is Lamine Jamal, Captain Alvaro Morata and Nico William, the main strength of La Roja at Cairo this time is the angel wing pair Jamal and William. The aforementioned young duo are showing beyond the expectations of both experts and fans. Speed and excellent dribbling ability of both have made countless players miserable. William has himself a goal and fans are eagerly waiting for Jamal to score to become the youngest player to score in a Euro final. Their remaining name playing on the attack is Captain Morata. 32-year-old striker will have the task of walling and attracting people to let the flank shine. Up to now, Morata is still doing that well. On the side of the German team, the 42-31 that Julian Nagorsman uses can be considered the weakest scheme to date. Manuel Neuer is the main catcher of Diamantstrap at the age of 38. Neuer is still an irreplaceable stop in coach Julian Nagorsman's squad. Although Neuer's form is not what it used to be, but that's only compared to this player himself, but if compared to the European level he's still among the top goalkeepers. The central defender duo is Antonio Rudiger and Jonathan Tuh. Although Nikos Lothebeck had every impressive performance against Denmark on the day. Jonathan Ta was replaced for disciplinary reasons, but it's hard for Dortmund centre-back can replace what tatted Sudiger and Tewil still be the latch in front of Neuer's goal. Two wing-backs are Joshua Kimmich and David Rom Kimmich doesn't. Need to argue Rom's position is a prime example for the fierce competition of the German boat team. Mittenstadt did not perform too impressive in the group stage and had to make way for Rom. The central midfield duos Tony Cruz and Robert Andrick both have good support and compensation for each other. Cruz focuses on controlling the midfield to Diamant Raff, while Andrick will participate in strength plays more to win the ball back for the team. The harmonious combination of both helps Germany become a formidable force at this Cairo. A little higher is the trio of Jamin Miziala, Captain Ike Gondagan and Florian Viniziala's position is untouchable, but Jan's unconvincing performance before Denmark will push him to the bench once again and return the position to Viet, while Gondagan needs to prove more. When the last two matches progressed, Barcelona had due impressive performances. The highest playing name on the attack is Kai Havert. Arsenal's progress has been quite good with two goals so far. However, that number would have been much higher. Kai Havert took his chances to score better. The fact that Germany and Spa in face each other right in the quarterfinals makes fans regret, with these being the two teams that have performed the best since the beginning of the tournament. But this is football, and we have to accept that story. Let's wait and see if Spain or Germany will perform better and be present in these semi-finals of Euro 2024.